Okay, so we're gonna go through trying to make a just attain a lock here, a challenge lock. And uh, while I'm doing it, I'll try to show you what I do to get that process completed. Not sure yet if we'll do a part two and all that, but anyway, we've picked it. Now, um, yeah, the packaging on the lock said so much, you know, it said, said anti-prying, but as you can see, this uh, retaining piece here, that came off really easily without any effort with this screwdriver, so yeah, it's not anti-pry anyway. Now, I'm going to try and get this. So that's the first piece, then we have the first disc, and yeah, for any anyone who hasn't seen what the inside of a disc detainer looks like, here's the discs with the gate that the, um, that the sidebar falls into, and what we're going to do to these is we're going to add more notches going to make it anti-pick. Another one, it's two, two discs and then we have a spacer, the spacer, spacer looks like this, so we have that spacer. Now I think those first two are the ones that get tensioned off, and we have a disc. No, no anti-pick, spacer, a disc, no anti-pick, a spacer, a disc, no anti-pick. These uh, discs remind me, a spacer, they remind me of uh, the letter Q. Another Another disc and spacer. Another disc, another spacer, another disc, and another spacer, and another disc. And then that's it. So how many discs has this lock got? Yeah, so we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine discs. And one, two, three. Hang on, let's have a look at this for a sec. We'll take that very last one here. Um I think at least two of the discs have to be set at the same angle. Yeah. I don't think they made a brass, I think they just made a stamped. Because they're rough on one side and smooth on the other, I believe they're stamped. Stamped out. And then you can see inside there is just the plastic weak core. So we're actually going to leave that alone. Because if you did want to you know, make this lock fall apart, you just remove the sidebar there, which you can see, the sidebar there, and yeah, you remove the plastic piece and then the rest of the lock falls apart. So, we'll leave that alone. And we're going to try and add some notches. Some notches to these uh, discs. And for that we have some files, needle nose files, and uh, we might try the triangular one and the round one. Um, we might need to use a pair of pliers just to hold it. So let's get the pliers. 
We do not leave the outpost. We are hiding. Cut out pliers, and I'll start with the very last disc. Now, what I want to check is I want to check to see how this disc sits in there. So it sit like that. Sorry, sit like that, and then turn that far to line up with the side bar there. So, we'll add the, the notches on this side here before the gate, so with that in mind, just going to hold this, hopefully it will suffice. So we want to make it a bit more pick resistant. So I want to file some some anti pick notches into this thing. Just I'll do the one the one disc. I might actually put in the vise because it normally. The vice holds these things better. Let's just check that. Right. Okay. Don't worry, I'll move the camera now. Okay. Put that in the vice. the camera and move the vice into position and I'll show you how I do one of these discs. So Not, uh, not the hardest, but uh, you still have to be a bit careful. Got a little bit of a groove going there. Started. So I'll get my my round my round file.
so you can see we've got slight slight notch there and yeah you just take the material away this one is not uh, ideal I don't think let's try something else here this one might be a bit better This one doesn't do the job, I've got a, a better file yet. Right. See we're making a little little notch. Obviously this will take time and yeah I will do a part two I think where I will show you the next step where I've made the false gates and it should help save some time. So I'll just do the one disc anyway. I'm just gonna add two notches here on this disc We're making ourselves made ourselves one anti pick notch there, and then we're adding another one here. So that's one disc done. I think you get the idea. We have the true gate and we have some false gates to help uh, take away feedback and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to now do that with all the discs. And then I will show you what they look like um, in the second part once we filed all those discs.